Right, hello. So I'm going to show you quickly how you can use LT Spice, uh, which is used for the, my ECED 3901 course for a few of the assignments, and you'll find it useful for testing your circuits. Um, so the first thing we do when it starts like this um, is to start a new schematic, and then you can save that, uh, save that somewhere so you don't lose it right away. Documents. Test schematic. Um, so in LT Spice, the there's a few of the main components are up on this bar here, um, and if you hit this gate-looking icon, is for additional components, and then you get a library of them. Um, so what we're going to do first is I'll do a time domain simulation of a sine wave uh, through, let's say, a little RC, a simple RC circuit. So we put a voltage source. Uh, so this voltage source, if we right click on it, you can set just a constant voltage if you want. Uh, but if you right click and hit advanced, it gives you more options. So one of these options is a sine wave uh, and you just specify, you don't have to specify everything, uh, just the minimum amount of stuff you require. So in this case, we'll have no offset. Uh, we'll have one volt amplitude uh, so that'll go plus minus one volt, so two volt peak to peak, and let's say a thousand hertz. And we hit OK. That's fine. Um, and we'll just do a simple resistor capacitor circuit. So I'll put a resistor here, and control R is rotate, and then a capacitor here. And we'll wire this thing together. And you can see uh, when you make the connection, those boxes should disappear. So in this case, I didn't quite make that connection. So we uh, break it like that. Uh, the other thing you need is you need to place at least one ground. So this is the zero volt reference point. Um, and so that's using all the graphs and everything like that. So we'll put a ground here and connect it to that negative. Perfect. So this is our circuit. And the last thing we need is values for the resistor. So um, you can see when you highlight it, it says, you know, uh, R, so you put a thousand ohms, for example, or you can put in, uh, you can use suffixes, so I can put 1.2K, and so that would be 1200 ohms. And same thing for the capacitor, we could say 100 um, nano. Or be careful of micro ohms, if you wanted to have one micro ohm, uh, you use a U for micro, if you put M, that would work as a milli, so that would be one micro, and you can see it actually converts it to the micro symbol. Um, so I'll put 100 nanofarads or 0.1 micro. So when you hit simulate, uh, what's gonna happen the first time, it's going to ask for a simulation command. The most basic is the transient simulation, and what this will do is just simulate it over time. And I'm going to, the only thing you really need to specify is a stop time. Um, so I'm going to specify, let's say, 100 microseconds. Um, and to do this, I'll put 100, and then I'll use this um, the exponential notation, so e minus 3. So this is equivalent to 100 milliseconds. Um, or we could do one second if you want and just put a 1 in there. Uh, it just depends. If it's a very complicated circuit, you may want just a smaller amount of time. I'll put 100 milliseconds um, and hit OK. So what that did actually is put this tran, you see this dot tran 100E3, so that's the simulation command. Um, and we can just click on the circuit and we can see the waveform. So if I double click here, we get the, um, the input waveform and you can zoom in. And if I click somewhere else, uh, it'll automatically, if I have the graph selected, um, we can then uh, measure other voltages. So then we can look at the output of this circuit. So we can see, we see this different waveform overlaid in blue. If I click again, it just overlays that waveform. Uh, we can get the current through things by clicking, you can see this symbol becomes a current meter. Um, so it's very easy and you know simple way to do a lot of circuit analysis. So now let's say we want to get a uh, the frequency response of this, this graph. And to do this, we have to modify the simulation command. Um, so there's a few things to do. The first thing we need to do is this uh, power source here. Let me close the graph, make this bigger. 
you have to right click on it and we actually need to set it back to um, no function. So it's as if it has a DC voltage. But for the voltage, we're going to put an AC1. Oops, one. And what that'll mean, and there's a space there, uh, is this will actually be controlled by the simulator, the voltage here, uh, to do the, the analysis. So I put AC1, um, and we need to edit this simulation command. So you can either do this if you go simulate edit command. Um, what you can see is that it will now let you select a different type. Uh, so what we want is AC analysis uh, and type of sweep uh, octave is fine. Number of points per octave. So how many frequencies to simulate? I'm going to put maybe a 10 or 100. It doesn't really matter. And then you just select the frequency range to simulate over. So if you know the, the resonant, the frequency you're interested in, you could, you know, go one to 10, um, 10 kilohertz. Or if I'm not too sure, I might start with a wider range. So let's say one to 100 kilohertz. And when I hit OK, what's going to happen is this, uh, oh, it gives us a new simulation command that will drop on the, the schematic and it comments out this old one. Um, as an alternative, what you can do is you could also right click on these uh, commands and just delete them. And then when you, um, just missing a number of points. Okay, so in that one I can't delete because it's not just a comment, but it, you can delete the commands and when you go to simulate, it'll uh, ask you again. So you can only have the one command active per, um, per schematic. Anyway, so when you hit run, uh, it'll run the simulation and we can plot uh, the output here. So we get this nice uh, graph showing both the frequency response, um, which is this solid green line and the phase response, which is the dash green line. So here we can now see that our minus 3 dB point is around 1 point some kilohertz, probably right around 1.2 kilohertz is what it ended up being. Um, and that's basically how we use the LT spice for doing both time domain and frequency domain simulations of simple circuits.